Hey, what's up YouTube crew? This is Corporal Camel coming at you. Today we are going to be installing a two terabyte hard drive by Seagate into my Dell XPS 8900. That beautiful bad boy right there. Why? Why? Because I need more room for all these videos. Let's get to it. Items that will be needed for this install include the new hard drive, all right, the SATA cable, make sure you pick one of these up at the store or order one online because one will not come in this box, Phillips screwdriver or a cross tip for the mechanically challenged, 9mm pistol, oh wait sorry, wrong video, well I guess that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started by removing the access panel on the side of the computer. Go ahead and remove this little screw on the back. Give it a little tug and remove. Let's do a quick rundown of internal components of this computer. We have the power supply. We have the ODD, optical disk drive, which is your CD slash DVD burner. This came with the computer. We have the hard disk drive that came with the computer, one terabyte. This is our graphics card. See how dirty the fan is underneath there? Goo! We have our fan and heat sink, which is mounted right above the processor chip. This is a Core i7. And we have four sticks of DDR4 RAM, totaling 16 gigabytes of RAM. And all of that is mounted to the motherboard down on the bottom. We are going to be placing the new hard drive into the HDD2 bay. All right, it's just gonna slide right in here. I just wanted to take this time to say thank you Seagate for thinking I have ESP and knowing that you aren't gonna include any mounting screws. So make sure you pick up some mounting screws and a SATA cable because nothing comes in this box other than the hard drive. But it's all right, we'll make it work. All right, well since we didn't receive any mounting screws with the new hard drive in the box, we're gonna go ahead and borrow one of the four mounting screws that came with the existing hard drive in the PC. Before you do anything in your PC, it's a really good idea to go ahead and ground yourself by touching something metal. You could touch the metal frame of the PC or anything else metal. Uh, you just want to discharge any built up static electricity off of your body. You don't want to go frying any sensitive electronics inside here. If you have a grounding strap, that's even better, but it's not really necessary if you're careful and uh, make sure you're grounded out. Look at that wee bugger. No small screw. So we're going to be installing it into the HDD2 drive which only requires two mounting screws anyway, so one will be sufficient until I get to the store. Okay, let's grab the new hard drive. On the back, the longer pin connector is for the power supply and the smaller one right next to it is for the SATA cable. So let's go ahead and connect those. Go ahead and find an available power supply connector coming off of your power supply and plug it into the back. Like so. And let's go ahead and grab our SATA cable. Connect it like so. And now we're ready to slide it into the new bay. like so. And we will install one screw for now until we get to the store into this hole. Okay, now that we secured the hard drive with the screw, we can go ahead and connect the other side of the SATA cable to the motherboard. And if you look down there on the motherboard, 
We have two free SATA slots. We're going to use this one on the left, which is SATA port 3. There we go. Heard the audible click. And we'll just do some cable management here. Tuck these cables away from the fan. All right, all the work inside the tower is now complete. So go ahead and replace your side access panel and connect all your cables back to your computer. Go ahead and turn it on and I will show you the final step, which is formatting your hard drive. It's super easy, takes literally 30 seconds. Bear with me here. Okay, let's get started formatting this hard drive. Let's go ahead and open up your file explorer. Go to this PC. Click up here where it says computer. And over here to manage. Okay, then we're gonna wanna go to disk management. Give it a second. Do, 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 do. Must initialize a disk before a local disk manager can access it. Just click OK. When in doubt, click OK. OK, now down here it says 1,862 gigabytes unallocated. That's the new 2 terabyte hard drive that we need to format. So just go ahead and right click, go to new simple volume, and this is the setup wizard. So go to next, I'm sure you're all familiar with that. Uh, don't touch anything on this page, that's just showing you how much uh, storage is inside the hard drive. Click next, and assign a letter to the following drive. I'm going to go ahead and put V for videos. This is going to be my video editing hard drive. Click next. Okay. Right here where it says new volume, this is going to be the title of your new hard drive. So I'm just going to put new HDD, new hard drive disk, or hard disk drive. Go to next, and finish. See it is formatting now, and we are good to go. See, it's named new HDD just like I wanted it, and it is online. Alright, if you guys thought this was helpful or you want to see more, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.